C++ open and closed files. A file must be open before you perform any kind of read or write operations on that particular file. Either the web stream or epstream class objects may be used to open a file for writing and ifstream class object is used to open a file for the reading purpose and operation only. Following is the standard syntax for open function which is a member of fstream, ifstream and webstream objects. So here we are having this open function that is a declaration of the open function here. So it returns void, so it is having no return type argument. It is having const character pointer file name, so the file name will be expressed in the form of a string. So that has to be passed as the first parameter. The second parameter is ios colon colon open mode mode. So here we are having so many different modes are there, we will be discussing that one right now and the, one of the modes are to be mentioned here. So it requires two input arguments, so these are the two parameters are to be passed to this function open which returns void. Here the first argument specifies the name and location of the file to be opened and the second argument of the open member function defines the open in which the file should be opened. So for the better understanding, so let us go for this mode flag. So here we are having list of mode flags, we are going to discuss one by one. So one is IOS colon APP, APP stands for the append mode, that means all the output to that file will be appended to the end of the file. If the file pre-exists with some previous content, then the previous content will be, will survive and the new content will be written at the end of the file. If the file does not pre-exist, in that case the new file will get created and content will be written on it. IOS colon ATE, so open a file for output and move the read and write control to the end of the file. So the read and write control will be moved towards the end of the file. IOS colon colon in open a file for the reading operation, iOS colon colon out open a file for writing, iOS colon colon trunk T R U N C trunk, if the file already exists its content will be truncated before opening the file, so the previous content will be truncated. You can combine two or more of these values by ordering them together. For example, if we want to open a file in write mode and want to truncate it in case it, it, it already exists, the following will be the respective syntax. So that is one mode, that is another mode and they have got, they have got written side by side separated by one filter symbol that is OR. So that is IOS colon colon out for the output file and IOS colon colon trunk that indicates that if the file pre-exists, then the previous content of the file will be truncated. Similar, similar way, you can open a file for reading and writing purpose as follows. In this case, we have defined one epstream class object, the name of the object is a file and a file dot open, here at first we have passed the file name which is a const character pointer file name, so file name has been passed, const means this particular string will not be changed and here we are having the respective modes and as we have written two modes, so they must be separated by the OR operator that is a filter here. When a C++ program terminates, it automatically closes, flushes all the streams, release all the allocated memory and close all the open files. So whenever a C++ program, C++ program terminates, then in that case it will close all the files whatever it opened earlier and releases all the memory buffers which were allocated. But it is always a good practice that a programmer should close all the open files before program termination. Following is a standard syntax for close function which is a member of fstream, ifstream and webstream objects. So here the respective prototype for close function will be void, close, void. So it does not take any input argument. So now it will be closed accordingly. So in this way we can close a function. If we do not write 
if we don't write this close functions at the end of our code compiler will, will do that one but that is not a good programmer's practice as a programmer when you will be writing our code at the end of the program or whenever required if you find that one file usage has got terminated there is no use of using that file later on you can make the file closed accordingly so in those cases we will be using this function close thanks for watching this video